I'm Sandy Mehan, and I'm director of the National Portrait Gallery in London. How do you define achievement? I think achievement's very hard to define in the sense that it's so many different things, by which I mean, if I think about achievement, I think immediately between rather large-scale social things or large-scale things one might do at work or anybody might do over a long period of time, but also I immediately think of very, very small things, of things that are an achievement to do on the everyday, during the day, things one wants to get done. Achievement can be both of those things, all of those things, many more things, and I suppose I think of it as a very, very wide ranging term. I come from very conventional, very, very supportive, middle class, professional background. I was therefore very privileged. I think somewhere along the way I was quite aware that I was privileged in that I had private schooling, I had a very, very close family, and with it, somewhere, I suppose, what got into the bloodstream was an idea that, yeah, that there were things to be done and that you would give back and that there was a very strong sense of public service. Certainly for my parents, I had a very, very strong sense of public service, of that being an important idea in life, that you would serve other people. I mean, some of it is happenstance. Some of, some of it is the delightful fact of things being in the right place, or me perhaps being in the right place at the right time. I was very lucky. I had opportunities when I was young to start working in the art world, to start working in galleries, to start thinking about cultural work. Also, I suppose I started with a very strong engagement with artists, I mean, more than anything. Uh, certainly when I was a student and in transition from a student beginning to think about employment or beginning to think about being able to do something that might, one might be paid for. Um, the idea that one could work with artists was certainly very inspiring and still is. I still think of the opportunity to work with artists as something particularly special. I guess I now have a transition between thinking about that idea with artists but also knowing certainly running the National Portrait Gallery that you know, this last year we had two million visitors to the gallery and thinking about how I can serve all those people, um, if it's not individually, uh, is something really, really important. The situation with the Turner paintings, uh, this is when I was deputy director at the Tate, and these were two um, very important late Turner paintings that were lent from the Tate to a gallery in Germany. And they were on loan in 1994 when they were stolen. It was terrible. It was just an awful thing. They were stolen in a raid in the night. It was not a continuous search. And in fact, for many, all the early years, the work was being done by the German police and by the kinds of investigations that you'd expect. The actual thieves, the people who did it, were caught. And it's a, it is a very complicated story. What, in effect, happened was that after some five years, six years, there began to be information about whether there could be a way in which these paintings could be returned. And it was very complicated negotiations um, with the approval of the authorities in Germany and the approval of all the authorities here in London. Um, and my role was really to coordinate all the different parts of this. Um, we ended up being allowed German authorities to use the support of private investigators from London in Germany, which is very unusual. And through that, we got one painting back in the summer of 2000, um, just after having opened Tate Modern uh, that summer. But I was so worried about getting the second one back, it had to be kept completely confidential. Nobody except about five people knew that the first one was back. And then there were five different occasions in Germany when I was ready to make an exchange for the second one. And every time it went wrong, information got in the wrong place, or people were disturbed, 
something would change. Uh, two of them, two of the occasions, I was so certain that the painting was coming that I had transport ready because you don't want to be standing on the street corner holding a 12 million pound painting. Um, and this also involved all the approvals to be able to pay a fee for information leading to recovery. It was very complicated on a financial front. Um, but eventually, in fact, after I left the Tate and started working here in December of 2002, which was then eight and a half years after the original theft, I got the second one back. Um, and in the broadest terms, I suppose, and inevitably, because we're sitting here in the National Portrait Gallery, I, yeah, I feel there's a big achievement, and I hope, I think, and I hope others think, in the way the gallery has gone forward and the popularity we've now achieved and the interest we have and the engagement for many people. Um, but I can be caught on other areas of achievement that will matter to me. Uh, I spent eight and a half years of my life trying to find uh, and recover two stolen paintings for the Tate, which was a whole other story in my life. Um, and those were two very important uh, paintings worth 24 million pounds that were stolen some years ago. And that was a very strange part of my life and that was a big achievement for me. And achievements of some other kind, there were family achievements, I feel things that are about the family and at home. And there are domestic achievements of other kinds. I got two silver, uh, I got two silver awards for making marmalade this year. I'm very keen on making marmalade. I was very pleased about that. Next year I had to go to gold.